Do you remember the fire we had last night? Because it was so cold, you couldn't even get the ink wet. You said, what a blaze, remember? What a blaze, all those old papers going up. Well, my dear, those old papers were just all your father's letters, that's all. Everyone he wrote since the day we married. Everyone. All the letters about what a ninny I am, what a bad housekeeper I am, everyone. At least it kept us warm. What else will do that? Maybe I have to go back to move forward. And maybe I should just go with my gut, you know, my heart. Instead of always doing what I planned, or what anyone planned. I know it's bad. I haven't seen grandma. I think about her a lot. And, and you, obviously, obviously, I think about you all a lot. It's not forever. It's not. It's just for another year or so. Or I don't know, but I don't want to live in a shoebox. And really, apart from you and grandma, really, what is keeping me there? I've got friends here too. And Skype. So yeah, I think this is my home for a while at least. Gallop apace, you fiery-footed steeds towards Phoebus' lodging. Such a wagoner as Phaeton would whip you to the west and bring in cloudy night immediately. Spread thy close curtain, love-performing night, that runaway's eyes may wink and Romeo leap to these arms, untalked of and unseen. Lovers can see to do their amorous rites by their own beauties, or, if love be blind, it best agrees with night. Come, civil night, thou sober-suited matron all in black, and learn me how to lose a winning match played for a pair of stainless maidenhoods. Hood my unmanned blood bathing in my cheeks with thy black mantle, till strange love, grown bold, think true love acted simple modesty. Come, night, come, Romeo, come, thou day in night, for thou wilt lie upon the wings of night, whiter than new snow on a raven's back. Come, gentle night. Come, loving, black-browed knight, give me my Romeo. And when he shall die, take him and cut him out in little stars, and he will make the face of heaven so fine that all the world will be in love with night and pay no worship to the garish sun. Oh, I have bought the mansion of a love, but not possessed it. And, though I be sold, not yet enjoyed, so tedious is this day as is the night before some festival to an impatient child that hath new robes and may not wear them. Oh, here comes my nurse, and she brings news, and every tongue that speaks but Romeo's name speaks heavenly eloquence. I pray you, tarry. Pause a day or two before you hazard, for in choosing wrong I lose your company. Therefore, forbear a while. There's something tells me, but it is not love. I would not lose you. And you know yourself, hate counsels not in such a quality. But lest you should not understand me well, and yet a maiden hath no tongue but thought, I would detain you here some month or two before you venture for me. I could teach you how to choose right. But then I am forsworn, so will I never be. So may you miss me. But if you do, you'll make me wish a sin that I had been forsworn. Beshrew your eyes. They have all looked me and divided me. One half of me is yours, the other half yours. 
mine own I would say, but if mine, then yours, and so all yours. Ah, these naughty times put bars between the owners and their rights, and so though yours, not yours, prove it so. Let fortune go to hell for it, not I. I speak too long, but just to please the time, to eke it and to draw it out in length, to stay you from election. <rire> tu reconnais des hommes qui divorcent pour leur maîtresse, toi Avec des enfants en bas âge Et un crédit, et une Audi, et un chien, et un lapin nain, et une culpabilité, et une maison de famille à la Trinité Non. Bien sûr que non. Pas une ode mais lucide. Et puis il ne m'a jamais rien promis. De ce côté-là, je n'ai rien à lui reprocher. D'ailleurs, je ne lui reproche rien. Je l'ai trouvé marié et j'y suis allée en connaissance de cause. Il ne m'a jamais rien promis, mais il ne m'a jamais rien caché non plus. Un honnête garçon, ma foi. Mais de là à changer de crèmerie. Non. Je n'y crois pas. Je n'y crois plus. Ce sont les femmes qui prennent ce genre de risque. Jamais les hommes. Pourquoi Je ne sais pas. Peut-être parce qu'elles ont plus d'imagination ou qu'elles sont plus joueuses ou qu'elles sont en meilleur terme avec la vie. J'ai sûrement tort d'avancer de telles banalités, mais quand je regarde autour de moi, c'est ce que je vois que nous ne sommes pas tous égaux face à la vie, face à la mort plutôt.